Engineers are hoping Baltimore's Key Bridge collapse will be a national wake-up call. A 7 News investigation already revealed federal engineers and state inspectors thought the Key Bridge had adequate structural protection from cargo ships. But when our investigative reporter Mitch Blocker dug deeper, he discovered the Key Bridge and thousands of other bridges across the country were designed when ships were much smaller. Baltimore's Key Bridge had stood since the 1970s, but its piers weren't designed to absorb an impact from a 100,000 ton cargo ship like the Dolly. That would likely cause a portion of or the entire bridge to collapse. There's no redundancy. Federal inspections show the Key Bridge is what's called fracture critical. Fracture critical bridges don't have any structural backup. Why build a bridge without redundancy? Well, we're we're trying to avoid that, but in some instances, it's it's very hard. Bridge engineer Andy Harriman served as the American Society of Civil Engineers national president. We asked him why a bridge Governor Moore says was up to code and federal engineers documented as having adequate peer protection still fell. The Francis Scott Key Bridge, do you think that bridge had adequate peer protection? I don't know. That bridge was designed many, many years ago, and it was probably designed and was designed to a different standard. If it was designed today, it probably would have had much more robust uh, protection of the bridge. We traced bridge peer protection standards back to the 1980s. Engineers and federal highway regulators set them after a cargo ship hit and took down Florida's Sunshine Skyway Bridge. In 1991, those new standards took effect, and the guidance recommends that all new bridges be designed to prevent collapse and a vulnerability assessment take place on all existing bridges. Engineers and federal regulators recognized back in the 1990s, and I'm quoting, that a significant portion of older bridges crossing navigable waterways may not meet the risk acceptance criteria. Maryland's Key Bridge and Bay Bridge are among more than 17,000 fracture critical bridges built between the 1950s and 1970s. There are about 3% of the bridges in this country are fracture critical. How many of them do you think are up to those new standards? I don't know. I don't know. What Harriman does know is redundant. Peer protected bridges have become more important since 2016. That's when the Panama Canal and ports from New York to Norfolk, including Baltimore, expanded to accommodate some of the world's biggest container ships. One of those ships was the 116,000 ton Dolly, which took down Baltimore's Key Bridge. Well, I think we have to start reevaluating because now with the Panama Canal, uh, with expansion, we're getting Panamex ships, which are much bigger, much heavier. Maryland transportation officials tell us that all of the state's bridge projects, that they incorporate the latest engineering standards, and that includes eliminating fracture critical bridges when possible. The thing is, though, it's not always possible. We found hundreds of fracture critical bridges built across the United States all within the last decade. For the I-Team, I'm Mitch Blocker, 7 News.